Hi, James with OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we are going to compare the Echo Dot and the Echo Show 5 here. So both of these are Alexa devices that will allow you to use voice commands to do a variety of things in your daily life. If you want to set a timer, you want to listen to the radio, listen to music, you want to set an alarm for the morning. Both of these devices will let you do that. And they're both around the same price point, except the Echo Show is typically a little bit more pricey, but not much. And that's what we're gonna get into in this video and why you should probably think a little bit about which one of these devices is gonna be right for you. So we've got a little comparison here of the different features between this. And the first and most obvious is that the Echo Show 5, which is one of the latest Amazon Alexa devices, does have a touch screen, which means that you can watch videos on here and it, you can actually change things by touching the screen. So right now it's showing the weather in Chicago. It's in the 40s, but you can touch here and you can slide between different news items. And uh, like now we've got the time and it will show you like relevant information such as your calendar, sports scores, or daily news and updates. So with that screen, there is another key feature. If you have a smart camera or other smart device that has a video feed, you can typically watch it on this screen. And if you have Amazon Prime membership, you can also watch Amazon movies on this device, which is a really nice feature. Obviously it's a little bit small, but sometimes maybe you're watching a movie and you don't wanna stay up late and you wanna finish it on this little device while you're going to sleep. You could easily do that here. Or if you wanna watch a YouTube video while laying in bed or just at your desk, you could do this uh, on the small screen here, which is about the same size as a cell phone screen. So it's not that crazy to think people would watch video on here and a lot of people do. Now, another feature of this is that it does have a camera. And what that means is that you can actually have two-way video and voice calls on this device. So if a friend or a family member has one of these, you can video chat right through the Alexa device, which I actually really like and use more than you might think. Because yes, you can obviously do this on your cell phone, but let's say you've got a work colleague or a family member and you still are working on the computer, you can definitely work on the computer and still have a video chat because you're hands-free with this. So I really do like that. I've actually done that before where I'm kind of having a video conference, but I'm still looking something up on the computer and somebody else has an Echo Show device, or they can just have uh, the Alexa app and you can still chat with them via video on your Alexa device. So I do really like that with the camera here. And it's angled pretty perfectly that if it's sitting next to your computer or desk, you can use this. So. A lot of people actually use this for the video chat and I do find it useful because your hands are free versus with a cell phone, you're typically holding it while you're having a video chat. Another nice feature is that it is a camera. So if you have the settings correct on this, you could check, on, check in on your home through your app on this just to make sure everything's okay. So if you're on vacation, this could provide you some level of security by uh, being able to check in and view what's on the camera. It doesn't record anything at this point. There might be an app out there that does it, but it does let you check in and make sure everything's okay if you got an alert on your security system or something of that nature. So obviously the Echo Dot does not have either of those features. There is no screen here. There is no touch screen interface or anything like that. So you don't have a camera and you don't have a video screen. Uh, what I do like about the touch screen also is that you can control uh, your smart home devices through this touch screen. So uh, there's a variety of interfaces on here, but uh, this does let you control, it says smart home, communicate, music, video, routine. Uh, so there are different things that you can pull up on this menu. And as time goes on, Amazon will continue to update this interface to make it more functional. And I found that to be true over the last several years, even the advancements from the original Echo or Echo Show to what you get now are pretty big and there's a lot more functionality on this touch screen. So it says, uh, one of the things it says, take a selfie so you could do that with this or play music for reading. There's all kinds of stuff. Tell me the news, all, all kinds of stuff that you can do. If you get one of these, you can experiment with it uh, and what you can do with the video screen. And uh, on the Echo Dot, since there isn't a touch screen, the interface is very simple. 
Uh, obviously, the way that you're supposed to interact with these devices is that it is uh, speech. So you're supposed to ask it what you want it to do. Uh, but with this, uh, you've got a plus and minus volume button. You have a mute button. So when you say the word A-L-E-X-A, -E it doesn't go off all the time. And then this is like a multifunction button, which is used to reset it. They also call it an action button. Um, and I've got to check and see what else I've got over here. Uh, so this is just kind of an extra button. It doesn't have a whole bunch of functionality uh, other than when you're trying to reset the device. Now, in terms of sound from the, both these devices, it's pretty similar, but the Echo Show does have a little bit of an advantage, but neither of these devices are what I would consider like a standalone music player. They'll work for a bedroom or your office, uh, you know, and it will get you music and it's better than your cell phone sound. Obviously there's a bigger speaker in here, but compared to like a Sonos or larger sound system or built-in speakers, it's not gonna be nearly as loud, but it will get you by. Like let's say you're in a dorm room and you don't wanna uh, annoy your roommates uh, or you just have one of these in your bedroom, it will play a little bit of music at a low volume and sound decent. And they both sound a little bit the same. I don't know if they use the same speaker. They might uh, just based on the size comparison here, it's pretty close. Obviously this has a little bit different form factor, but you can see kind of the thickness between the two. Uh, I would bet that the speakers in here are, are pretty similar sized. Uh, the next thing is voice commands. So in terms of using these with voice commands, if you want to control your smart home, ask it the news, uh, figure out the weather, they're both gonna respond the same and they have uh, pretty good mics on both of them. I haven't had any issues with these responding uh, via the microphones. If you set these up, I always do recommend that you, there's an option to allow Alexa to learn your voice. You should do that for yourself and members of your household. I did it and then my wife did not do it and a lot of times Alexa does not listen to her because she doesn't have her voice registered in here. And when we did have it registered, it worked much better for her but it does uh, help if you register your voice with your Alexa. Now, it will work without registering the voice, but it does improve the performance and is something that I will highly recommend. But as far as sound and uh, microphones, these things are pretty similar. Uh, the mute button, there is a mute button here and there's a mute button here on both of these. And this also does have a plus and minus for volume. And then this last one is a little shutter to cover the camera. So not only can you mute the device, but you can also mute the camera if you want that privacy, which is a really nice upgrade from some of the other older models which did not have that. And I think a lot of people are gonna like that just in terms of privacy. Um, and it shows a little white dot there to show you that the camera is covered. So obviously it's not supposed to be listening to you when you press the mic button. Uh, but having this extra little feature of an actual physical hardcover is a nice feature rather than just like a mute button, which I think a lot of people like just in terms of privacy. Uh, both of them do actually, it's kind of a neat feature. I, I don't know how many people actually use this, but uh, it does have an auxiliary out. So if you want, had a pair of speakers or speaker system or sound system that you wanted to collect, connect to your Alexa to stream music, you could do that if you had a stereo jack, a small stereo jack, and both of them have that feature. So you could use these to say, for instance, Alexa, play music, and you could have it routed through a more traditional sound system if you had a stereo jack to connect to both of these, which would kind of make your device a smart device or smart stereo system. Now, uh, last but not least, uh, in terms of additional features, which is the last comparison point here, because you have this video screen, there are a lot of things that end up being a little bit better for the Amazon Alexa service and experience when compared to the Echo Dot. And kind of those extra features are the Prime Movies, being able to view those on here, which you can't obviously view a movie on the Echo Dot, uh, being able to view your security camera. So if you have a Ring camera or Nest camera or Nest doorbell, you can view those on this device. You could say, Alexa, show me my front door camera or Alexa, show me my backyard camera and it'll pull it up. And there are a variety of cameras which work with ALEXA so that you can view them on here. Uh, if you are playing music, a cool feature that I actually really like is uh, 
when you're playing Amazon Music, it'll show you the lyrics of the song that you're listening to, which some people like to listen along, sing along, or just know the lyrics. And uh, I really did like that feature. It's kind of neat when I've been playing music on here. Uh, it will display relevant news on here. Uh, you can customize it to show your news updates. It'll show you sports scores. So like all the time I get sports scores from the local teams or my favorite teams. Uh, it'll show you the weather, which is nice. If you don't want to ask ALEXA the weather, you'll have like a five day forecast on here, which is really nice. Um, it will display photos if you upload them to Amazon, I believe. And it will also, what I, I do like about this is you can use it as a clock, right? If you want to use it as an alarm clock, but also a clock, it can display the time, which obviously you could ask uh, the Echo Dot what time it is, but let's say you're sleeping and you don't want to wake somebody up. Uh, having this as a clock is nice because you can just roll over, take a look and see what time it is on the clock. So that is a nice feature. Overall, uh, both these are good devices. This is typically a little bit less expensive. This is a little bit more expensive. But watch out for deals on this because there are a lot of deals and promotions uh, around the holidays and just other holidays and random times throughout the year where you can get a deal where this is almost the same price as this. So, you know, for a couple more dollars, you can get all these extra features and kind of be forward compatible with all the different things that come out with the Echo and Alexa devices with this Echo Show versus the Echo Dot. Now, the Echo Dot a lot of times get gets bundled with uh, other smart devices. And if you get one of those bundles, I would still keep this um, because you could have an Echo device in every room and then that makes your whole house voice compatible or smart home compatible. And a lot of people really like that. Uh, but if I had to pick between one of these, I would probably spend a little bit more money and get the Echo Show. And if you've already got one of these Echo Dots and you kind of know what it's about, but you want to upgrade uh, or you're gifting it to somebody, I would probably go with the Echo Show just because the added functionality uh, for this as a gift, as well as it just does, like if somebody's got a traditional alarm clock, it does really fit that form and profile and factor. I think that's what they were going for. That makes it just really nice size. It's not overwhelming on a desk. I mean, you can see them side by side. It's only marginally bigger than this, but it does have so much more functionality and so much more power packed into a little device, plus that two-way video chat feature, which I think long-term people are gonna really like. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. If you wanna support us, you can click on any of the links below or you can visit us at onehoursmarthome.com and thank you for watching.